Hi, welcome to Windy City Rails. I'm Mike with uh, Utastic, standing here with Justin Love. We're here at the Windy City Rails Conference 2012, and I'm interviewing people who run user groups and uh, technical communities. Justin Love is a fixture in the uh, Ruby community in Chicago, and also he helps run the Chicago JS and the Chicago Ruby. Uh, and you said you were starting a uh, a demo days in the suburbs. Uh, well, yeah, someone else had uh, sort of started the group and like posted one million, one message to the message board. It never really mm -hmm. went anywhere. Uh, you know, his member his meetup membership expired. Yeah. Uh, so I figured I'll pick it up for a month. Uh, you know, call the people I know in the suburbs. Maybe some of the people I know here that mm -hmm. you know, or you know, there's the Fox Valley Entrepreneurship Center, uh, ECC. Yeah. Uh, maybe some people I know in the city to, t to talk or So, so you're something. looking at something that would be uh, connecting developers with entrepreneurs? Or? Well, you know, it, it's, it's targeted for, like, uh, and it was, I don't know if I had the same vision as the original person. You know, it's, mm -hmm. you know, it's a demo day. It's, you know, if you're, if you're, you know, you're, you're, you're not going to have as many startups in the suburbs. Mm -hmm. You're not going to get a lot of people looking for investors. But, you're, but you do have lots of small businesses. Maybe they just do IT support. Maybe they're working on uh, iPhone apps. Right. Maybe they're working on their own cool app. Yeah, I, but you know, that's all stuff you can you can get up and you can practice your pitch and maybe get some feedback on how to improve it. Oh, or or maybe they're starting a little site where they interview uh, people that do technical. Hey, user you know, if you want to come out, that, that'd be <laughs> cool too. Because I mean, yeah. we've, we've, there, there's a few user groups out there. Yeah. So now you're one of those people I bump into mm -hmm. everywhere. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, you're 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 dealing a lot with uh, JavaScript and the Ruby. How did you get involved with uh, Windy City Rails and, and and Chicago Ruby to begin with? So, um. Well, initially I was just sitting out in the suburbs feeling awful alone. Yeah. Uh, so I finally decided, well, you know, I can't, you know, go to these expensive conferences all over the country, mm -hmm. uh, you know, effectively. So I, you know, got to, you know, take, you know, take the hit and get on the train, take mm -hmm. that big long trip, go down to the user groups and find other people doing similar stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um, and it eventually... Um, Actually, it wasn't too long. I, I thought, well, you know, hey, that, that's something I could talk about. You know, I think it was like originally, like about the same time I went to, uh, after Ruby Fringe, it was Future Ruby. Okay. So I did like a lightning talk of here's what I saw. Yeah. So you got and bit by the yeah, bug. Yeah. And then, and then somebody else, you know, said like, oh, what's a Lambda? I was like, oh, I can talk about that. Yeah. So that's where I started, started trying to you know, figure out, you know, speaking and mm -hmm. stuff. And then do that once or twice. And, you know, where I said, hey, do you want to be an organizer of the group? Yeah. And uh, so, I mean, you're way out in the suburbs as well, so you got a, you got a long commute. Mm -hmm. um, so looking at starting the demo days out in the suburbs, uh, you know, you, you kind of described a little bit about the difference between um, being out in the suburbs and doing mm -hmm. groups and being down in the, in the city. I, what, what has been one of the most uh, obvious differences between being out in the suburbs and going to a group like a CMC or mm. some of the groups are starting to see more pop up mm -hmm. versus coming down to Chicago. Is, is there a big difference? Uh, I, you know, nothing that would be too terribly surprising. I mean, mm. it, 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 it's smaller. You get a lot of like um, you know people you know in an IT shop or a one man mm -hmm. uh, developer shop. A lot of times, uh, a lot of people they're just you know they're looking at you know pretty basic stuff. You know, mm -hmm. a lot of them are doing like you know PHP or that kind of. Uh, you know, websites for businesses, you know, yeah, and that's... Meat and potatoes. Well, and, you know, that's providing value to those businesses. Right. We're, it's just not the, the, the cool, shiny tech we're usually talking about downtown. Yeah, yeah, and it's not, it's not quite as hip. Mm -hmm. Hipster, hipster. Mm -hmm. Not as many parentheses. Yeah, and, and you know, and, you know with, with the smaller community and, you know, less of the new shiny tech, uh, mm -hmm. sometimes they're, work, they're kind of begging for proposals, but... Yeah. You know, I think the, the Fox Valley Computer Professionals, uh, you know, takes the summer off because people are busy. Right. But they, they're generally get coming with content, so it's all good. Yeah. And, I mean, do you think that, uh, um, I mean, obviously you, you're passionate about user groups. Do you think it's, is it something you would recommend more people to do? I mean, uh, if you're on the suburbs, I mean, look, we got, I got kids and, and all that. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Um, I mean, do I mean, you think yeah, it's something I mean, that it, it's very and, and maybe just because I, I do it because it's that s structured social for mm -hmm. the people who aren't you know as naturally inclined to the social interaction things. Yeah, so it's um, a safe place where but, but, you can. Uh, yeah, it, it, it's very easy out there. Uh, you know, you don't you don't have these big you know hundred you know member attendance groups yeah. that you know it's like you know go to meetup and it's there. Yeah. there. There's a couple of them, but 
Yeah. Just uh, like so it, it, it's easy to believe that you're sort of in the middle of a desert and yeah. not think that anybody's out there. So like when the Elgin Technology Center sort of sprung up, and you mm -hmm. know, I think the first article was thinking it more like a, a downtown, you know, startup incubator right. type thing, but uh, it was like, oh, hey, there's some other people out here. Yeah. So uh, you that, find that, kindred cool. spirits. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, thank you very much for mm -hmm. taking the time to talk to mm -hmm. me. Yep. Thank you. Thank you.